welcome to ABC Interactive English. This is Henry, and this is Karen.、Mm -hmm. And today we are looking at day one of building character, and it's called treat everyone with respect. And the vocabulary words are charge, charge. The airline charges fifty dollars for each bag that you bring. Low, low. Joe's job has a good work environment, but low pay. Drop, drop. Gas prices just dropped again. Bundle, bundle. Where can I recycle this bundle of newspapers? Mhm.、Mm、hey, Karen.、Uh, how old were you when you started working? I was about fifteen or sixteen years old. Uh huh. And what was the minimum wage back then? I'm sure it's very, very low in comparison to. You know, many many years later, and、That's、it's much、right. higher now. I remember the minimum wage was about seven dollars, seven Canadian dollars per hour. So back then it was okay, but now when you think about it, it's pretty low. How much is it now? I think it's about ten to thirteen. I think they want to raise it up to thirteen、oh, dollars per、nice. hour. How about you? Well, when I started, it was five seventy-five an hour. Five dollars、yes. and seventy-five cents. I was a dishwasher. Really? Yes. And that was the minimum wage. Uh huh. That sounds pretty low right now. Yeah, it pretty much doubled. I know, and because all everything else doubled too, right? The cost of living. Yeah. Also, we're old. I know. Okay.、Mm -hmm. We just revealed our age. Yes. <laughs> okay. The question for today is: What did the porter do after the rich people paid him? What did the porter do after the rich people paid him? It would, be, it would have been nice to get twelve dollars. I know, back then. Yeah. Treat everyone with respect. A rich couple was going to have a dinner party. They went to the market to buy fine food and drinks. They spent a lot. Then they called for a porter to deliver the things to their house. An old porter came. He looked poor and hungry. The porter charged twenty dollars. It was a low rate. However, the couple wanted to pay even less. They argued until he dropped his rate to fifteen dollars. After they paid him, he put the bundle of things on his back and set off. Explanation one. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff. Hi, I'm Henny. Welcome to our show this month. Today we're going to be building character by being respectful individuals, respectful people. Well, actually, to be clear, over the next couple of days we'll be acting respectfully towards one another, while also discussing why treating others with respect is the right thing to do. Right. Okay. The title of this month's story is "Treat Everyone with Respect." Let's get started. Day one of our story begins with the following sentence: A rich couple was going to have a dinner party. Hmm. Sounds great. I mean, these are rich people after all, so they can afford to throw amazing. Dinner parties. Yep, and these rich folks were indeed looking forward to throwing a good party. The next lines tell me so. They went to the market to buy fine food and drinks. Our article continues, and they spent a lot. And that's not all, Hanny. Then, after that, then they called for a porter to deliver the things. To their house. So there you have it. These rich people have money to burn. They have tons and tons of money. They can buy a bunch of fine food and then have it delivered to their house. Pretty good. Hmm. 派对时间到了。我们的故事里面有一对有钱夫妇要举办晚宴，他们去市场买高级的食材还有饮料，花了很多钱。那后来他们叫一位搬运工来帮他们把东西送到家里。那这里有两个补充单字 ，porter 就是搬运工，那么 deliver 就是指运送。
Yes, being rich can be great. Of course, this does not mean that being poor is a bad thing. Everyone, including the rich, should treat everyone else with respect. The poor included. Anyway, let's hear some more about the porter that these rich people hired. In the coming sentences, we learn all about this guy. An old porter came, says the article, and apparently, he looked poor and hungry.、Mm. He looked hungry enough that the rich people offered to feed him on the spot. Right? Wrong. These rich people treated this porter poorly. They treated this poor porter poorly. That's a fact. Now, let's keep reading. The porter charged twenty dollars. It was a low rate. However, the couple wanted to pay even less. They kind of ripped him off, or they cheated him. Yep. Anyway, with that, it is time to look at our first and second vocabulary words of the day. Charge. Charge. It's a verb. The word charge has a few different meanings in English. Here, though. If you charge someone for something, you ask them to pay you money. Okay, you ask them to pay you money because you're selling them something or because you've done something for them. For example, I'm not going to charge you for this meal. This one is on the house. This 餐点我不会跟你们收钱，这是餐厅免费招待的。那么 charge, charge. 这个单词在课文里面，它是当动词，表示锁价、收取费用。那我们可以用 charge 某人加上金额。那你后面还可以加 for， 再加物品。例如 ，The mechanic charged me five thousand and two dollars for repairs. The mechanic charged me five thousand and two dollars for repairs. 那位修车师傅向我收了台币五千元的修理费用。好，另外 charge 也可以当名词，表示锁价或是费用，像 service charge。service charge 就是服务费。free of charge。free of charge 就表示免费。例如 ，the soft drinks are free of charge。the soft drinks are free of charge。这些汽水是免费的。接下来学今天的第二个单词 low， and our second vocabulary word of the day is low. Low, low. It's an adjective. Here, the word low describes something that is small or not high. Yes, low means not high. Anyways, this porter's rate. This porter's rate is low, and that means that this porter's rate is not high. This porter is not expensive. This porter is not charging a lot for his services. For example, my prices are so low that people think I'm crazy. 老板在做跳楼大拍卖，他出的价钱非常低，低的很夸张。那么 low, low 就是低的。它是当形容词来用 ，low 出来可以用来描述这个物体的高度是低的，也可以去描述价格啊、速度啊、温度或是收入等等是低的。例如 ，Richard sold his car at a low price. Richard sold his car at a low price. Richard 他以低价卖掉他的车。再看个例句 ，The truck was traveling at a low speed. The truck was traveling at a low speed. 那辆卡车以低速行进着。那这里的 travel 不是指旅行哦，而是行进。好，回到故事里面，有一位年老的这个搬运工，他们愿意，他愿意帮这对有钱夫妻搬东西回家。他看起来又穷又饿，可是他没有乱开价哦。他开的价格是二十元，费用很低。可是那对有钱夫妻竟然嫌太贵，想要少付一点。我想他们买的随便一样高级食材都超过二十元吧，竟然还为了这种小钱要剥削老先生。好，文中的 rate 是指费用、价格
。那刚刚 Jeff 老师用到 rip off 这个片语，是指敲竹杠啊、剥削或是诈欺的意思。那我们要先休息一下，待会再回到课文中。Okay, everyone, it is now time for a break. But when we come back, we'll finish up day one of treat everyone with respect. Right, but don't go away. We'll be back soon. Welcome to Enjoy Chinese. I'm Yoyo. I'm Jay. This episode I like this episode because it's about healing. 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 Cleansing， 然后就是净化、洗清哈、嗯。那 remover，remover 就是卸妆哈、卸妆液这样，你就知道说哦，这些东西有可能 cleansing 啊 ，remover， 你就知道它是清洁保养的用品啦、嗯。但是因为这个空气很差，你就算没化妆，你还是要清洁，还是要卸妆这个卸妆，对不对？所以我们脸部的相关清洁产品，英文怎么说呢？来一个一个来哦。洗面乳呢就是 face wash，face wash， 好 ，face wash，facial cleanser。Facial cleanser， 这些都可以哈、嗯。那 facial 呢，就是脸部的这些形容词啊。Cleanser 呢，就是清洁剂。嗯 ，OK， 所以 facial cleanser 很简单。OK，、嗯嗯、那女生要卸妆啊，对不对？还是要卸妆油啦？嗯、怎么说呢？这个我们叫做 makeup remover。Makeup remover。Makeup 就是你的化妆品哈、哦。那你要把它移除掉 ，remover 哈、哦。Makeup remover、嗯。那这个东西呢，我们有时候也会看到什么 cleansing oil。Cleansing oil， 哦，就是卸妆油。嗯 ，OK， 就是先涂上去，然后加一点水把它乳化，这样 OK。对。那 makeup 就是化妆，对不对？对我们刚刚讲 remover 就是移除啊，移除。Remove the makeup, makeup remover， 这样。Remove the makeup, makeup remover， 这是绕口令。对，那所以你也可以用 take off 这个片。哦、oh, ，对 ，take off、哦、就是 take off your makeup， 就把它卸掉，卸妆。真的，那有时候我们除了脸部清洁保养之外，我们还要定期的去角质哦，这样皮肤才会漂漂亮亮。Okay, 去角质呢，我们这个动作呢叫做 scrub。scrub， 好，你也可以说是 exfoliate。Exfoliate, exfoliate. 哈、嗯，那这个就是去角质的动词啊。那这个专门在去角质是这个东西，就是 exfol exfoliate 后面加上 o r。OK， 那它就变成什么去角质的东西啊？就是那种啊、嗯呃，有有些它会比较细分啊，就是说 exfoliator 就是没有那种颗粒的哦、嗯，就是反正就是去角质这样。OK， 那我们来说，就是用去角质的产品来去角质。哇，这个就是 exfoliate。With an exfoliator. Exfoliate with an exfoliator. 对，哇，那直接说 I need to exfoliate， 这样就好了。Exfoliate. 对，但 exfoliate exfoliate 它也有脱皮的意思啊，就是蛇那种脱皮这样。OK， 好，所以我们要来统整一下这个清洁保养的步骤了啊，就是什么卸妆、卸妆、清洁、清洁、去角质。好，那其实你如果看一些产品的说明书上面，它都有写啊。所以呢，第一步 step one step one remove your makeup. Remove your makeup with cleansing oil. With cleansing oil. 好，用卸妆油来卸妆。Remove your makeup with cleansing oil.、Yes. 第二步呢，就是 use a face wash to to remove all the dirt and makeup. Step two, use a face wash to remove all the dirt and makeup. Step three. For a thorough cleanse, you need for a thorough cleanse. 对 ，thorough cleanse， 彻底的清洁的话 ，exfoliate with an exfoliator. Exfoliate with an exfoliator. 对，就要去角质、嗯、，thorough， 全面的、彻底，这样。清楚了吗？我们不但教英文，还教你如何保养呢。步骤都会了吗？来看我们今天的 life action. Oh, how can I help you? Um. I need some products for cleansing my face. What are you looking for? Um, I need a new facial cleanser, and I'm also looking for a new cleansing oil. Okay,、uh, sure. Let me show you what we have. Okay. Okay, this here we go.、Um, All right.、Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, can you also show me how to use these products step by step? Yes. Step、yeah. one. Yep.、Yeah. Take off your makeup. Oh, yeah. 
with cleansing oil. Okay. Step two: use a face wash、mm? to remove all dirt and makeup. Okay. And for step three, for a thorough cleanse, exfoliate with an exfoliator. Oh, thank you. Explanation two. Welcome back. Before the break, two rich people were getting ready to throw a party, a very good one. They had spent tons of money at the market. Yup, they'd thrown their money around big time. But when it came time to pay the porter, a poor hungry old guy, they got cheap.、Mm. Even though the porter was only charging twenty dollars for his services, the rich couple wanted to pay even less. Yep, they argued until he dropped his rate to fifteen dollars. How terrible! Indeed. Also, the word "drop" is the third vocabulary word of the day. Drop, drop. It's a verb. If you drop a thing, you let that thing fall to the ground, either accidentally or on purpose. Yeah, you can drop something by mistake, or you can try to actually drop that thing. Anyways, here though, we're talking about a rate or a price. Okay, the porter drops his rate. Yes, if you drop a rate, if you drop your rate. You let someone pay you less than you would normally get paid. For example, normally I charge twenty-five dollars for this item. For you, though, I'll drop the price to twenty dollars. 哎，虽然我们有缘，我把价格降到二十元，那你不要跟别人说哦。好 ，drop, drop. 这个单字当动词，它可以指东西掉落啊、掉下来之类的。那它在课文里面，它表示降低，像是价格啊、数量、温度等等的降低。好，那要特别注意 ，drop 它是子音母音子音的发音规则，所以它的过去式和过去分词要重复字尾 p 再加 ed。来看个例句 ：The price of gold dropped. The price of gold dropped. 黄金的价格降低了。好，再看个例句。The number of tourists has dropped this year. The number of tourists has dropped this year. 今年的观光客数量降低了。好，回到故事里面，那对有钱夫妇向这个又老又穷又饿的搬运工来讨价还价。那后来价格降到十五元了。可是我觉得这件事一点都不光彩。Everyone, I'm getting angry. The rich people can't afford to pay the porter. Why on earth then they are they arguing about his rate? Because they don't respect him, which is just awful. Anyway, next, the rich people paid the porter. Wait a minute, Jeff. You just left something out. That's true. I did. Why? Because it's now time for the question of the day. All right, what did the porter do after the rich people paid him? After they paid him, he put the bundle of things on his back and set off. After they paid him, he put the bundle of things on his back and set off. And here we have our final vocabulary word of the day: bundle. Bundle. Bundle, it's a noun. A bundle of things is a set of things. A bundle is like a load or a group of things that you can carry. Specifically, though, okay, a bundle of things is a load or a set or a group of things that has been tied together or bound together. Okay, usually bundles. Or is held together with string or something like that in some way. Bundles are wrapped up. Let's say groups of things. For example, he wrapped up his bundle of souvenirs and then began the long journey home. 他把一大堆纪念品包好，准备要回家了。那么 bundle, 
bundle。这个单字当名词，它表示一捆或是一束。那我们可以用 bundle of 加上名词来指一大堆的某事物。例如 ，The man carried a bundle of newspapers in his hands. The man carried a bundle of newspapers in his hands. 那名男子他手里拿着一捆报纸。好，再看个例句。There are bundles of magazines in the office. There are bundles of magazines in the office. 办公室里面有好几堆杂志，有很多杂志。好，故事接着提到，那对有钱夫妻付钱之后，老搬运工就把他们东西背在他身上，然后出发了。那我们今天的课文就读到这里，同学们要记得收看第二天的课程哦。Okay, everyone. With that, today's lesson is now complete. But don't go away. More building character is on the way. Right. So join us next time for day two. For now, though, it's time for a break. But like I said before, don't go away. Join us next time. Also, we'll be back in no time. So don't touch that dial. Treat everyone with respect. A rich couple was going to have a dinner party. They went to the market to buy fine food and drinks. They spent a lot. Then they called for a porter to deliver the things to their house. An old porter came. He looked poor and hungry. The porter charged twenty dollars. It was a low rate. However, the couple wanted to pay even less. They argued until he dropped his rate to fifteen dollars. After they paid him, he put the bundle of things on his back and set off. A rich couple was going to have a dinner party. 一对有钱夫妇要举办一场晚宴。第二则是叫点点点来的动词片语 call for。让我们从解析句子开始吧。A rich couple was going to have a dinner party. 意思是一对有钱夫妇要举办一场晚宴。句中的主要动词是 have a party， 举办派对。时态是过去未来式。Was going to 加原形动词，用于表示过去的计划。例如 ，I was going to call you， but I was too busy。我本来要打给你，但实在太忙了。此外 ，party 派对前面还可以加字，例如 dinner party 晚宴 ，birthday party 庆生会 ，graduation party 毕业派对 ，going away party 欢送会。接着来看下一则文法 ，call for 意思是叫点点点来。Call 在这里是不及物动词叫唤的意思。For 是介系词，为了合在一起。Call for somebody 字面意思就是为了点点点而叫唤，也就是叫某人来的意思，用于请人到现场帮忙处理事情。例如 ，Karen called for her boyfriend to kill the cockroach。凯伦叫男朋友来杀蟑螂。以上就是今天的两则文法，全民说英语，我们下次见喽。A sentence a day. Hi everyone, welcome to a sentence a day with me, Karen. 这个礼拜呢，要教大家的就是在借东西给别人的时候呢，我们会用到的一些英文。那今天要讲的句子就是。借东西给别人，也许你看到你的朋友觉得啊，好口渴，可是他没有杯子，刚好你有一个马克杯。如果你想问他说，哎，你想要用我的马克杯吗？这一句英文应该要怎么说呢？你可以说 ，Would you like to use my mug? Would you like to use my mug? 你想要用我的马克杯吗 ？In today's sentence, we're talking about lending something to somebody. That means letting them borrow, and they will give it back to you after they're done. Maybe you see your friend, and your friend is really thirsty, and He doesn't have a mug, and you just happen to have a mug right beside you. You can lend it to him. You can say, "Would you like to use my mug?" And that is the sentence for today. Would you like to use my mug? And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello, 大家好。
我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天在 Building Character 学到了四个单词，现在就用一分钟的时间帮大家复习单词。同学们准备好了没？一分钟计时，开始。好，第一个单词，它可以当名词来指要价、啊、所价，当动词也是指所价，就是收取费用的意思。这个字怎么说？叫做 charge。Charge, 哎，它还有帮电池充电的意思哦。They will charge you an extra fee if you pay by credit card. 如果你用信用卡付款，他们会向你收取一笔额外的费用。第二单词是低的，低的怎么说？就是 low， 高的 high， 低的 low。好 ，Please keep your voice low in the library. 在图书馆的时候，请轻声细语，说话要保持低的音量。第三个单词是指降低，价格降低呀、啊，温度降低，你都可以用这字表达，叫做什么 ？Drop， drop， 它有掉下来的意思。Drop 就降低。The city's crime rate has dropped。这个城市的犯罪率降低了。第四个单词是捆，或是树一捆一树，怎么说？它叫做 bundle， bundle， bundle of 就是一大堆的什么？比如说 there is a bundle of clothes on the bed， 床上一堆衣服。好，太好啦！我们又在一分钟之内轻轻松松复习完四个单词了，同学表现很棒哦。那今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。Thank、you